So and taking those classes helped me to figure out more about sewing and to learn. And I loved being in that hub where you're surrounded by sewing. But it was also like I knew I wanted to go because there's a lot of sewing there. And when you're in a place. Didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is the that, LA fashion is that like district. From the fashion industry. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you have these, all these factories everywhere. And I saw the disparities in income because I was working for fashion designers. So I was going into the district and I was buying fabrics. And then I was actually going to suppliers and I was going to these little shops who were creating things for, for movie stars. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And they were being paid pennies to make clothes for these movie stars. And I was just like, this I'm is. Assuming the movie stars have more money. Yeah, and the Sorry, designers are charging a lot for me in my 20s to be bouncing around and doing this. Like, Oh, work. so you're like basically cheap labor for, for this industry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I got I got a decent wage because I was actually semi like um, I was an assistant on the floor. I told you what so. I made at SpaceX. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a little more than that. <laughs> nice. Good for you. No, you should have yeah. made more than that. But I, but it was really interesting to me to see all of that, all that dichotomy. And then while I was at LA, LA Trade Tech, I was taking night classes because I was working through the day. Let me be clear, at jobs throughout that whole three years, and I was going taking the train at night into downtown. I don't know how I got through that, um, and then coming back out. And so the 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 girls who were there would talk about going to learn to work in the factories and how they were timed on how fast their hands could move. And they would try and get these jobs just to piece things together. Oh, that's interesting. So wait, when you say how fast their hands would move, do you mean just like throughput or you mean just literally their hand motion? Handling. That's This is something a lot of people don't even think about. Interesting. People, I mean, is that a useful metric though? Because I feel like you could you could get nothing accomplished with really fast moving hands. I mean, How do like, you think your clothes at, are made? Uh, hands. That's a good question. So many <laughs> hands handled your clothes. We haven't figured out how to get robots to do it yet. That's a exactly. good point. Exactly. Because you can't. Because it's... Well, never say never. Okay, never say never. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, maybe they will. And you know what? All of our clothes can be made out of mushrooms and not plastic too. Yeah. 